Welcome to ClemsonTigers.com. I'm here with Clemson women's golf coach J.T. Horton. And I've been here 30 years, and uh, probably one of the most frequently asked questions is, when are you going to start a women's program at Clemson? Well, finally, we have done it here. And uh, we're glad to have you here, J.T. And first of all, tell us a little bit about you know, your connections with uh, Clemson. You grew up just 30 miles from here. I did. I grew up in uh, Clayton, Georgia, just right down the road. And, and all, it's uh, a lot of people, um, you know the city, but uh, I, was, I was very fortunate to have a lot of friends that went to school here, um, you know, came to the ball games when I was a, a little boy growing up. And when you live this close to a, to a great college town and, and great university, you, you just become an automatic fan. And, and I've been that way for, for uh, gosh, since I was probably uh, eight years old. So I'm um, glad to be here. This is kind of coming home to me, um, the job that I've dreamed of for a long time. Uh, it's great for me and my family to be here, and, and we're honored to be a part of this university. And you've known Larry Penley for many years. He is. He's been a, a big mentor for me. He, he really has. He just, you know, anybody that you have that's just uh, such a fantastic coach and, um, you know, got so much experience on developing players and turning them into PGA Tour players, but great people. Um, you know, it's not just um, – these are a lot of his players I have played with over the years, uh, whether on the amateur circuit uh, against him in college or, or even uh, on the professional circuit. Um, I know a lot of them, um, and they are just great people. Um, you know, and to have Coach Penley as the director of golf and, and my immediate boss is, is, is I'm very fortunate. Uh, he's going to let me do my thing. Uh, he trusts me, uh, but I also know that I have him here if I need anything, and it's, it's pretty nice to have somebody with his experience level um, that's got my back. I, I got to believe the success of the men's program will certainly help you now as you go uh, recruiting to start this women's program. I'm banking on it. You better <laughs> believe it. Um, you, um, there's, there's very few schools in the country that have this type of reputation. Um, they're, they're few and far between. Uh, and I can guarantee you that, um, you know, Coach Penley's reputation along with, um, you know, Clemson athletics and, and, and Clemson golf and, and the surrounding communities, uh, surrounding states uh, is very, very high, um, but it's also very well known nationally. And, and um, you know, I can promise you that uh, the success that they've had has, will bring a, a great deal to the table for us, and this is uh, something I'm pretty excited about. Uh, when it comes to recruiting, uh, what are the areas? I know South Carolina will be a big part for you. Yeah, the organizations here in South Carolina are, are top notch. They just, they really are. Um, we're very fortunate to have, you know, great junior organizations here in South Carolina. I can promise you it'll be my job to build those relationships uh, and, and, you know, keep on what Coach Finley's done for, for years. Uh, but it's time to do it on the women's side now. And, and um, we will definitely start in the state of South Carolina, uh, then we'll look into surrounding three or four or five states, uh, and then we'll go nationally from there. Um, but uh, I can promise you that uh, we'll start right here in our own backyard. Be a couple of years before you actually have a team on the course, but what's your overall uh, scheduling philosophy? Scheduling is, um, you know, it kind of depends on the recruiting class that I have. Um, you know, if I'm, I'm fortunate enough to, to get a strong, strong recruiting class, then, then uh, we'll, go, we'll go straight to it and we won't mess around. We'll go with the best schedule that we can possibly put together um, as hard as we want it to. Um, because if the, if, the, if the recruiting class can handle it, uh, they've played in some top tournaments their whole life. Um, but if it's a group that needs to be developed along a little bit more, then we'll mix it up a little bit. We'll have some easier tournaments, some harder tournaments, because it's important to not only teach them how to be against the best teams, but also learn how to win, you know. And, and um, that's a philosophy that, that um, is, is fail-safe. You know, you got to teach them how to win first. Uh, but also you got to, you know, our overall goal is to win championships here, whether it's an ACC championship, a regional championship, or a national championship. And you can't do that unless you're playing against the best best teams in the country and know how to handle your situations. You have experienced kind of restarting a program at Tulane. Uh, what did you learn from Tulane that you can take uh, to this experience? A lot. Uh, you know, starting a program is a lot of fun. Um, it is, is a lot of hard work. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to do it at Tulane and be successful. Um, you know, the support systems here are, are, are extremely strong. Uh, the, the base is here, um, you know, the recruiting base is here, the, the, uh, the resources, uh, the support systems from this university since I've walked in the door has been absolutely top notch. I could not have asked for anything better. Um, but learning how to be patient with your recruiting process, learning how to understand how to you know, spread out your money uh, over the four or five years that, you, that you're looking at, I mean, it's, it's going to be an important process that you've got to be very, very careful, very, very patient, very, very diligent. 
you got to know what you're doing going in, and you got to know what your expectation levels are going in, not just as a team, but actually in the recruiting side of it. So uh, it's a process that, that I'm glad I have experience in uh, because you're going to need it. JT, it's great to have you here. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. Appreciate it.